Hello and welcome to Looky Looky Loo Crafts. I'm Candace and today's intro sign was created by Kim of Kim's Inspired Life. Thank you, Kim. Okay. All right, guys. Today we're back to the box. A little update, I think. I have to pause. Hold on. Okay. Hope I'm back. Sometimes I get confused on my pause, <laughs> and I record my uh, the uh, the calls and uh, the doggy. You gotta go potties and <laughs> the phone rings and whatever else is going on, <laughs> and I don't have a video. <laughs> but hopefully I got it right. Okay, so a little update on the box. <sighs> okay, so I did get the inside done. And I used the pink checks. And uh, so I still have to do this flap and, and this flap. Because all of these flaps are hidden. Hidden away so you don't get to see those. And uh, I think it's going to work. It's a little stiff from the glue. But I, I think it's going to work. Okay, so, but I still have these little flaps to do. Now, I did make a video of putting the uh, stuff in, but, you know, not all my videos turn out to be uh, worthy of YouTube. As bad as my, the ones that are worthy are. <laughs> there are some worse ones, yes. All right, so get in there. Again, this side. Didn't want to stick it in a hole and and stay down. And now the other side doesn't want to stick it in a hole and stay down. So what I will do is just I, I will glue these flaps down. That's all. Because once you got your box together, you won't really need to take it apart again, will you? So, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Is just glue these flaps down. And that's what it'll it'll look like. On that side maybe I'll put a little glue on on this flap to hold it down just right because it will no longer go in the little holes it's got little tabs but they don't want to go in the little holes so I, I think I will put some glue on those and, and so they'll glue on tight and I was watching a new lady and I can't remember her name if I can remember who she was I will put her down below, and I'm sure I was watching her from the Boosteroo Challenge from Junk Journal Diva, who is hosting this month. So if you're not boosted here in, guys, come on and volunteer, boosted here, otherwise it's going to end the Boosteroo Challenge. And it it really was a great idea to, uh, you know, go around and find a, a channel that needs a boost every day and boost that channel, and then have as many people as you can volunteer to go and give that channel a boost. I thought it was a great idea. So I hate to see it for it to come in. So if you can afford to watch one video a day uh, and, uh, you know, comment, like, subscribe, and share, and, you know, support that one video for one day, then please go uh, over to Junk Journal Diva and volunteer. Um, and if she has bonus uh channel so if you can do more than one do more than one so uh yeah okay that was an impromptu <laughs> okay now Melissa who suggested I should cut these off and I might do that but I'm scared to do what I can't undo <laughs> I mean it ain't the greatest box in the world you can definitely see all the amateur work but it is pretty and uh I think it'll do what I want it to do. I was going to decorate all the top, but now I'm thinking I have this shelf right here. And if I could clean it off and put the stuff in the shelf in a box somewhere, I could line these boxes up. And like if I had uh, all my Easter stuff in this box, I could just put Easter on it. Or if I had all my extra jewelry making goodies in here, which is what I made this box for, uh... I could put, you know, extra jewelry stuff on there. And then I would just have it on my shelf. I could just 
pull it out. And I think these little boxes will store quite a bit. And that would save me on space. But yeah, I'm going to glue those down. And I'm going to uh, uh, put some glue on here and cut me out a piece. And then I think I will be pretty much done. So, do I, wanna, I may want to bet it just a little so that it'll go like that. So, So I think I'm going to glue it on first and then just trim it. Just lay it down flat, glue it on, and then trim it. That's uh, Okay, that's what I'm going to do. So, decision made. Okay, so i got to get a line. That one is good. And it goes to there. Okay. Where's my glue? Glue? Okay. Come on, glue. We're going to do a box together, me and Melissa Sue. Or we're going to do a video about doing boxes. <laughs> and uh, she's going to help me out a whole lot. We talked a lot today on her live. It was a lot of fun. I always enjoy Melissa Sue. She's so much fun. Oh, and uh, so we're going to get together and have a box so y'all don't want to miss that whenever that's happening even if you're not doing a box you uh, never know when you might want to do you right so let me get a, a wipey here yeah she also told me how to stop all this squishing but I have to find my glue stick for that. Oh, did I get that straight? That looks straight to y'all? No, it don't look straight, but uh, okay. It's it's gonna be okay. I am not a factory, <laughs> and it's going to be okay. Okay, do I want to do this side? I think I do want to do this side. But even if I cut those off, it'll be okay. Because I haven't decided yet where I'm going to cut them off or not. It's probably a good idea, but once you do it, it's done. Decision made. Forever. That's a little scary. So I'm just doing it this way, the way. I'm winging it the way I've done the whole box. And that way the whole box will be consistent, right? <laughs> And on the next box, I'll try to get more uh, knowing what I'm doing before I do it. Okay. I got to pull this way, pull this way, pull this way, pull this way, pull this way. Oh, this lady I was talking about, I can't remember her name. I'll leave it down below. Uh, I think I found her on... Uh, Junk Journal Diva, like I was trying to start out saying a while ago. Uh, and she was making a, a, her glue book. She was working in her glue book. And I just thought it was amazing because um, she just had like her glue, I guess, in a bowl or something. She had like a two-inch paintbrush. And she was just slopping that glue on. I was like, yeah. <laughs> That's my kind of gluing. 
and uh, she was generous with it, and she didn't care where it went, and it was just going everywhere, and everything she did turned out so pretty, and I, so I just like it, and I thought, yeah, that's, that's the ticket. Anyway, y'all can go check her out. I'll leave her link below if I can find out which one she was. And all I got to do is go look. I mean, I can't remember her name. I'm sorry for that. But, yeah, uh, she was doing it. But, you know, everybody does it a little bit different. And every once in a while, you'll find somebody that uh, that speaks to you. <laughs> and uh, so she was speaking to me with her gluing technique. So I, I enjoyed it. I'm like, yeah, that's me. That's me. I could, I could slop stuff. Well, now that I say it, I'm thinking, oh, that might be offensive. Well, I hope she's not offended because I don't mean it in any offensive way at all. But, uh, yeah. I was impressed, to say the least. Okay. Okay, got that piece done. Now all I gotta do is cut around. <coughs> and cut down here. And cut around this one. Melissa Sue was telling me I could square up every corner. And again, once you cut, you're, you're and I got such a bad crooked disease, y'all. <laughs> Nothing I cut come out good or straight. But uh, this is on the edges, and I think it's going to be fine for this one. You get better as you go along, and you learn, right? So that's what I keep telling myself. <coughs> Excuse me, so sorry. I have so, I have a lot of uh, mucus and uh, phlegm built up. I had the flu, or what I'm calling the flu. I, it's just, I thought it was getting better. And it is better. But uh, it's, maybe I just have the phlegm all the time and I'm blaming it on leftovers from the flu. But it just seems like I'm awful, still congested. And maybe that's just a normal state of my being, but uh, yeah, I'm sorry, I feel an extra phlegmy. Okay. She also told me how to. Uh, make this edge look more finished but you know we're way past that step <laughs> so it's gonna have to stay the way it is so yeah thank you Melissa Sue you've been very very helpful I mean I'm still a beginner I've been I you know I'm going on two years of crafting on YouTube but that's all the crafting experience I got and uh if you watch my videos, uh, sometimes there ain't a lot of crafting going on. I get involved in other stuff, and uh, I have a lot of uh, videos that do not involve crafting. <laughs> surprise! <laughs> it had a big surprise to me. See, like this one didn't come all the way to the end. Uh, a very, this paper, immature, not immature. Amateur mistakes are all over this box. I'm sure that's going to curl up at some point. But I'm not going to let it bother me. I'm going to enjoy what I've done. And I'm going to enjoy the box because it's going to give me a place to put my jewelry. I do want a place to put my all my Easter goodies. I don't have a lot of Easter goodies. But I need to have them all in one place. And so... Uh, 
that may be my next uh, little home project to do is to get all my Easter stuff gathered up and in the right place so I can start making cards or ATCs or a book in my a page in my book which I'm really enjoying doing excuse me I mean my glue book <coughs> sorry and so I'm really enjoying doing that and I did make me a uh oh okay go an inch in or half an inch that looks like half an inch Try to line it up. Okay. That's one. All my straps won't line up. Would that matter? I could snip it off a little. Okay, I'm going to say it don't matter. And I'm just going to put it on. One, two. Okay, I'm going to go like that and say... Go like that and say that's it. <coughs> Where did that glue go? Here we go. The glue is almost empty. How do y'all fill up these tiny little bottles? I'm telling you. This is, it's the worst thing to have to fill up this little bottle. It takes forever. I, I just, I hate it. Okay. One, two. Two, okay. I hate filling up that little bottle. But I like the thin bead of glue that it gives me, so what can I do? It takes forever. If y'all got any tips on filling up this bottle, let me know. Because the glue, no matter how, uh, what I do, it clogs up at the hole. And then it don't go in. It just comes back and bubbles down the bottle. It's a real pain to get it in there. If I don't have enough, and I don't. Arr. Okay. Pink glue, pink glue, pink, pink, pink. Okay, here we go. My pink glue. Oh, that's why I wasn't using you. You you were clogged up. And my... Okay, i got to stand up. My pins have... Oh, maybe I can reach it with my scissor. Or a pinchy thing. Here we are. I don't want to cut it. I just want to grab it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, go. Aha! <coughs> excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Okay, I got a pen. I gotta open my glue. Now I like the pink glue. I got the pink glue a good consistency. It's the same glue as the white glue. I just put a little pink paint in it so I could see it. 
And uh, so, but I got it at a good consistency. That's out. Uh oh, dang it. What a job. Oh, I'll find something. Why ain't you coming out, Glue? Why ain't you coming out? I gotta wash my, my pen holder. Dang it. Here we go, here we go, here we go. <coughs> I gotta find out what's clogging up my glue. Are you the guilty culprit? Okay, let me get my pen. Don't you hate when this happens? Well, that's stuck in there. Good. Okay. You could be stuck. I don't like it, but I'll let you be stuck. I'll take you out there and wash you in a minute. I just trade gaps. Okay. Okay, there we go. There. Okay. Okay, I think we're unpaused. I hope y'all didn't hear all that coughing. Okay. I switched caps on my glue. So pink glue should work. And I, I like pink glue. It's a good consistency, but again, a pain in the butt to make and get in the bottle. It's not a pain in the butt to make. It's a pain in the butt to get in the bottle. I don't have a tiny little funnel. I think I need a tiny little funnel. I might cut these off. I might not. I, I, I don't know. I might get brave. But just in case. Okay. Let's follow the, the curve of my thingy here. Down. And I'll be almost done with my box. Won't that be awesome? A finished project. <laughs> I'm on a roll. Okay, let me put my lid back on. Okay. My scissor.
Now cuts easy if you don't try to cut your box. Okay, what's wrong with you? There we go. See, I don't know why it wrinkles up like that when I bend it. But it does. I should do it Melissa Sue's way. And hers don't wrinkle. Uh, I, I'm gonna, uh, while I'm organizing and, and trying to make myself some more accessible storage for my crafty goodness, I will uh, find my glue sticks. Hopefully. There. Look, I got down to the last flap. And it's all wrinkly. Everything else is looking okay. Okay. <laughs> But this one piece and it had to show its rear end. And when I lay it down straight, it ain't wrinkly. When I turn it up, it, it's got a wrinkle. Lay flat, lay flat, lay flat. Nope, it's going to wrinkle. Can I pick it up a little? Just a little bit. A little, a little, a little. Is it too late? Where's my glue? Glue, glue. Here. I think. Don't tear, don't tear, don't tear. Maybe. I could glue it. I'll get a better stick and get rid of that wrinkle. Okay. But not if I leave the wrinkle glued down. I hate those flappy things. But I like them because they put them on my glue. Maybe I, I don't have any um, stainless steel pins. <laughs> Pull the wrinkle out. There we go. Yeah, it's going to be wrinkly. It's okay. It's okay, Candace. It's going to be okay. The world is not going to come to the end. The box will still do what you want it to do. And no one's going to see but you. Well, that didn't help it. None at all. Okay, before I bend it up, I'm going to let it dry. How about that? Okay, let's work on this flap. It's end flap. Did y'all see anything at all? And we'll 
cut this one. And I don't know. I'll have to look over the box, but I think I'm going to call it done. Straight across. Okay, I got that trimmed. How's that look? Does that look okay? I think it, well, it's going to have to look how it looks. Okay. Now, let's put her together. Okay. All right. So, I want to put some glue on the back of this. Don't need a lot. Just need a little. Okay. And when I fold it over, y'all won't be able to see a thing. Okay. So I'm just trying to get that in there. Okay. Get this flap. Can y'all see? Can, well, maybe you could see. Oh. That's okay. I'm going to put some more glue on it. more glue on this one. That's more glue on this one. I don't know if this glue... Oh no. Come on, come on! Gonna break out the big guns here. Some straight aliens. No. No, uh... No water down to get through the little hole. Okay, some aliens, 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 nice sticky stuff. Okay. Okay, on the corners. Alright. Let's try this one again. There we go. I'm going to push that in. I'm going to hold that pushed in. Okay, let's see if we can bend this back. No, 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 no. Yes, yes, we can bend it back a little. There we go. Only I have small clips. Come on, get in. Get in and stay in. There. One down. One battle. One battle won. Okay, so we're going to fold these. Okay. More aliens. We've got some aliens to stick to. I don't know if it needs it, but my daddy used to use uh, contact cement. He said, if you want contact cement to stick, 
You gotta have it on both sides. Excuse me. Okay, that was just a scam caller. You'd think they would quit calling at this time of night. But no, I was stupid, y'all. I answered, there was an ad and it said, we're giving away free KitchenAid stuff. You know, pots, pans, bowls, stuff like that. And I said, well, I could use some new KitchenAid stuff. Let me go see what that's all about. That's a mistake. Don't do that. <laughs> now, uh, all I've been doing is getting scam calls from, you know, you had to take a little survey or whatever. I thought, sure, I'll do that. No, don't do that. Don't do that. All it is is a, a, a way for them to get your email and your phone number. It's been a long time since I've gotten involved in anything like that. I forgot. But they're getting good at putting out their, uh, their, their stuff to make it look legit, so... Yeah, every once in a while you get stupid and give the benefit of the doubt. <coughs> okay, guys. Look at that. I think I got myself a box. It ain't the greatest. It, it's not going to be the most beautiful. Let me put this over here. But I think it's going to work. Don't look at this mishap over here. And see, I think it's going to be pretty. This is going to, this goes inside anyway. You don't have to see that. Uh, where do I go? Here it is. Are you coming out? Are you coming out? A little bit. Just give me, give me a little. No? Okay. Hey, Lane's. Let me open a lens. Glue down this a little bit. There. Right, awesome. That's cool. So, except for these anomalies on the side, I think I did a good job. And I don't think those are going to matter. Because uh, you, you're not going to see them except for when you open the box. And I do have a couple little strips. I could cover it if it really bothers me. I'll cover it. But if it don't really bother me, I'll just leave it. I'll have to wait and see. Because I do have enough to cover it. But anyway, that's it, guys. This is my box. And it's going to dry. I think it'll be fine. And uh, I think it's going to work to hold my extra jewelry stuff that I wanted it to hold. So there we go. A wrapped box. You would think it would be like wrapping a present, wouldn't you? But it ain't. <laughs> All right. Thank you for coming and spending some time with me. I really appreciate it. And, and I enjoy spending time with you. So, yes, feel free to leave me a comment. Send me an email. Tell me who you are. And... And, uh, you know, whatever good you want to tell me about yourself. And, uh, you know, I'll answer you back. Okay, guys. Please like, subscribe, and share. Please join the Booster Roo Challenge. Be a Booster Tier. One for all and all for one. And uh, do us a little bit happy you do. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye now.